So welcome to part three of a three-part series on how a HR exec can use Copilot to help in the recruitment process of a sales development representative. In part one, we saw how we could use Copilot to author uh, a job specification. In part two, we saw how we could use Copilot and Teams to really analyze uh, which candidates we should move forward to the uh, in-person interviews. And part three, which is this one, we're gonna look at how we can spin up a, a job offer to the successful candidate uh, for this role of an SDR. So here I am in Outlook, and I'm gonna use Copilot to help me draft a letter to the successful candidate. Let's enter the prompt. So I want Copilot to draft a job offer letter to Mark for the role of SDR with a start of September the 9th. Please mention the salary package, the nature of the role is hybrid, etc., etc. So I'm gonna hit the generate button. Here we go. So this is the proposed email I sent to mark the successful candidate. We are delighted to offer you the position of an SDR starting September the 9th as the SDR, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, your salary will consist of that. And there'll be a, there'll be a benefits package, etc., etc. And the role is hybrid, etc., etc. And some more details there. Please return your offer letter signed, etc., etc. Now I might not be too happy with that. I might want to change the sentiment. For example, I might want to make it more casual. And comes back with a a changed uh, offer letter. You can see the sentiments changed. We're now talking about we are thrilled to offer you the job uh, of the SDR, etc., etc. Now, what I can do, I can look at the previous one and make a decision, well, which one do I want to choose? Well, I'm going to go with the first one. Let's keep that. And bang, there's the offer letter. But that's it. Hopefully you got good value out of this three-part video series on how a HR exec can really amp up their productivity by using Copilot in Microsoft Office. Any questions? You know where we are. And all the best. Bye-bye.